And what's funny about it is that's not how most people think. No, it's not. I mean, we go to clubs in the Midwest. We're going to Atlanta this weekend. It's like you go there. People aren't far right and they're not far left. No. They're far in their garage. They're far <laughs> yes. trying to get laid. They're yes. far trying to just get a raise. Yes. They want to have. They want to go out with their friends and have fun. They want to have a fun night on the town. They want to fucking do sports. They want to do shit that they like to do. Most people don't give a fuck about most of these issues that everybody's freaking out about. That's funny. Sports is free of politics in that sense. Like, yeah. there's not a team that you would. Well, I, but even I guess when Tom would, Brady was a giant Trump supporter, and people still loved him because yeah. he was just a bad motherfucker. Right, right, right. Even lefties who were football fans. Yeah. If he was thrown for Tampa Bay, you were fucking pumped. Right. You right. know, that's Tom motherfucking Brady, bitch. Who cares who he's friends with? Yeah. Because he's that good. Yeah. It's like when Michael Jackson m music comes on. Uh -huh. You know, he might have been a pedophile, but it's like, damn, they still play it. Although not for Colin Kaepernick. Uh, I mean, there's an argument that he got driven out for his politics. Well, that I don't I mean. Is that how was his performance? I don't know enough about football. I mean, to he was considered he was considered a first rate starting quarterback. And so they stopped using him because of his protests? I mean, it's questionable. I mean, obviously, it's it's quantifiable to some degree. I mean, you can look at a quarterback's rating and, and stuff like that. And I That's think he, interesting. He but if he was the best, if he was the LeBron James of quarterbacks, if he was just like this undeniable motherfucker of motherfucker yeah. quarterbacks, I bet he would have got away with it. Yeah. He you was, know what I'm saying? He was on the bubble. He was not. Mm. Yeah, he was not an, an not elite the best quarterback. Of the best. He's not elite. That's a wild thing to be good at, man. Quarterback. Yeah, Aaron Fuck Rodgers. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is a buddy of mine. Who's oh yeah. A very, very smart guy. Like shockingly smart, and and peaceful, and like at ease, uh -huh. and like very in the moment guy. Very interesting guy. Intense guy too. But, you know, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Sure. And that dude is just, like, he's so present. It's very interesting. Uh-huh. Very interesting. Because that job, man, you got super athletes running at you full clip trying to take you out, and you're throwing a ball at people. And you're a and supercomputer. Yes. You're, you've got... You've got thousands of configurations of plays in your yeah. head that you're communicating to ten other guys in the ten seconds you have in that huddle, yeah. and then you have then you have a choices. You got scenario A, scenario B, scenario C, scenario D, yeah. and you're scanning all of it like a supercomputer while fucking two hundred and eighty pound guys are <laughs> running at you. And you have to have like laser pinpoint precision with a spiraling ball. Yeah, right. it's a wild way to make a living. Yeah. I can see it being addictive. Like, I can see why Tom Brady left and came back. I can see it easily. I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, you read these stories in the news, you don't know how much of it is horseshit. Mm. But, uh, I, yeah. Brett Favre is in deep shit. Yeah, what did he do? Just like a welfare fraud thing? Yeah, he was friends with the governor of, uh, I don't know which governor it was. What's that? Well, yeah, yeah, Mississippi, because he went to he went he went to Mississippi, Southern Mississippi University or some college, and his daughter's going there, and she's a volleyball player, and they needed a new gym or like a stadium for volleyball games, and so he talked to the governor, and they arranged to siphon money out of a out of a fund that was like a welfare fund meant to feed poor people, <laughs> and they took like six million dollars out of it and built a stadium, and there's a whole text chain. Just, I mean, plain Oof. as day. He even says at one point, like, is there any chance we're going to get caught for doing this? Oh, boy. And the governor's like, nah, don't worry about it. We're good. Oh, no. Yeah. And, I mean, you think about a guy like that. What is he making? $20 million a year? If you want to buy, if you want a fucking volleyball stadium for your kid, you got that money. You got it. <sighs> That's so crazy. Yeah. And he had a legacy. You know? That's like a jailable offense, isn't it? Um, I mean, is that one of those? I mean, that seems like one of those ones that wouldn't just be a fine. It seems like it. If you're stealing from welfare. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of stuff people go away for, right? Well, especially because one of the millions of dollars went directly to him. Oh. <gasps> yeah. So it's like some of it went to the school and one of the millions went directly to him. And he's already so wealthy. Yeah. Imagine how much money he would pay to not have that happen. 
Mm. You know, he'd pay if, like, half this, his half his money. Yeah, if, like this scandal was about to go down right now, and people found out, like, well, how much would you pay to not have that happen? Yeah, definitely be more than a million. Oh yeah, he'd probably give you like two million. To shut the fuck up. Well, he's <laughs> probably he's probably worth. 30 or 40 million he'd probably give you half of that to not tarnish uh, the reputation forever and not only that but might wind up in jail yeah you know the, there's a problem that needs to be addressed whenever it comes to uh football players fighters combat sports athletes is that uh people with cte oftentimes have very poor decision making mm. it's very uh complex because everybody's version and and severity of C cte is different but one of the side effects of uh, having too many concussions is you become very impulsive and you start doing uh, risky things, risky behaviors. Sometimes people get addicted to substances and, and, and gambling and a lot, a lot of wild shit. And it comes from like your brain being rattled. Like it's just not working right. Like you have all sorts of uh, impulse control. Makes sense. So I think um, risky things like this might have been exciting. You know, like you should have obviously morally known that's not the thing to do. But there's something, I think, for guys that have been hit in the head too many times, like risky things. Like, oh, they would just want. Yeah. If you're a guy and you got all your jollies out of playing football, I mean, you got all your jollies out of being this badass fucking quarterback or some badass running back. And the amount of excitement on Super Bowl day must be uh, unfathomable yeah. to us mere mortals. Yeah, to us mere mortals, the um, the excitement of being on that field and knowing that millions of people are going to be watching around the world, mm -hmm. millions, and there's fifty, sixty thousand people in that place screaming their fucking heads off, and you're playing football at the highest level of the world. Mm -hmm. Fuck, man, you want a guy like that to just go back to normal life after he's been hit in the head fifty times? Hey, I got my own mower now. <laughs> yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That guy is going to start gambling yeah, and going to whorehouses right. and snorting coke and punching <laughs> traffic attendants. Look, he's, he's fucking bored out of his mind.